Now, late breaking news. All of the Toyotas except Kyle Busch will start in the back due to unapproved adjustments. Look at this crowd, Jeff. Got them on their feet. Let's go racing. They know what they're about to see. So Alex Bowman moves from fifth up to the front row. Alongside Joey Logano, and that's how they'll start. Green flag at Talladega. laps complete we have a new leader from worst to first Bubba Wallace started this race 40th under penalty and has now driven his way to the front pulling a train of cars behind him on the short way around on the inside well he made some great moves a lot of aggressive moves has a fast race car obviously comfortable at this racetrack and he got to that outside lane but what he did such a great job of he actually got down in front of Kevin Harvick who was leading that inside lane that's what pushed him to the lead NASCAR will let this pack cycle through the start finish line and now the yellow is out put it out put it out this is going to be competition caution Josh Williams, right Ryan Blaney you. spotter. Still outside corner. You're clear. 22 is not. It helps still with the 22 on the bottom. 22 is still not clear. Still half back to the top. Still half to the top. Back outside now. Outside. Matt DiBenedetto in front of Ryan Blaney with six and a half to go in stage one. That's Kevin Harvick on the inside. And that's Ryan, Ryan Priest. Well, as you say, that's it. Ryan Priest behind him, but Ryan Blaney on the outside that did a huge move from the outside down to side draft and stall that momentum for Kevin Harvick and now look at Kyle Busch go backwards because of that he did he went backwards because he chose the oh, oh, yeah, he's he's it. wrecking Joy Logano and Keselowski is in it oh. boy it's just scary anytime that air gets underneath that car gets it airborne like that Thankful to see that car get back on four wheels and not see have a moving around, moving grabbing, around. The, grabbing the wind net there. That's a good sign. Great sign. Look at how it almost peeled that roof back. Oh, heavy Ricky damage Stenhouse. to Ricky Stenhouse, who had a fast car today. Well, we talk about how aggressive some of these guys get at the end of these stages. So the stage ends under caution. Logano was called in on the radio saying he is okay. So and look how they're all stacked up. They're all bumper to bumper to bumper. Yeah, but look at the 11. He moves down to try to go to on the bottom, gets turned, turns him into the Joey Logano. And then, Jeff, we've all felt it. That silence. When that car goes over, it gets really, really quiet. Not a fun sound. And you have no idea if that car is just going to start rolling and continuing to roll or if it's going to settle down. Luckily, that's what it did. Let's use the Goodyear aerial coverage, see if we can see how this started. Okay, so there's the push of the 22 by the 11. Watch the 47 get to the rear bumper of the 11. Right here, that's that sandwich we talk about. And when Denny stepped out, the 47 was still connected. And that little bit of contact is what turned Denny into the 22 of Logano. Just a lot of push and very aggressive accordion effect all the way back. End of stage one. Whew. Under caution.
like the Toyotas, they have to come now. They've got to come now. Harvick and Busher too fast entering. Ooh, I think Denny, Denny was too fast. Denny was hot coming in there. You saw him locking up rear tires. Well, he's oh. penalized anyway, Jeff. Too fast entering, as you pointed out. Yeah, but that wouldn't hurt him near as much as doing a pit stop outside the box. I mean, it was yeah, right there was on the line. If he was across that line, then, then it's a one-lap hit. Yeah. It'll be a, a one-lap penalty. Oh, look at that thing. Yeah, I mean, Denny drove so, so much deeper, and you can see there's still some seepage of, of water on the track at some of those seams. And, boy, man, that, did, that was a disastrous pit road se sequence for that 11. So Berlin, Connecticut's Ryan Priest, the former NASCAR modified champ, is the race leader from William Byron, Kurt Busch, Alex Bowman, Austin Dillon, and Eric Jones, all in Chevrolets. Matt D pushed him to the lead, but it didn't give him enough room to go with him. Kyle, oh! oh. Is that Kyle Busch? Huge Bush? save right there. Wow. Big save. Got I spit out of that pack. And thank goodness all that area to the inside coming off turn four is paved. Check it, this out. You can see Bubba Wallace. The big run and on And Truex, they, they got a big run to the 20. Is 21 going to put a block? Yes. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, I think the penalty kind of served itself right there for both of those guys. Yeah, it's a no call. Uh, De Benedetto getting into Kyle Busch, who went for a pretty wild ride there. And now the front six are single file. Make that front seven. Martin Truex leading the inside lane. But that's not what he's looking for here. And it'll be one to go and they get back. Just, oh, oh Denny in the outside wall. There's that risk assessment. Man, Hendrick cars, up. all three Hendrick cars that are left of this field. That was a, up. a big block. Stacked them all up, turned them around. Uh, that wasn't a question of if, it was a matter of I when. I was just about to say, one more <laughs> lap to have a wreck and then it started. Truex got into the wall. Hamlin, crush panels pushed in. Byron. See this big run on the top, yeah. And watch that, this block of Brad. Wait, oh boy, yeah. So Denny's teammate oh. of Truex was trying to push him, but when Brad moved up in that outside lane, then that stacked up Denny, and he had to move left to right, and then that's when the rear bumper of the night uh, uh, on Denny hooked the front bumper of Truex, that's what you see right there, turns Denny into that outside lane. Or uh, out the William, outside wall. William Byron down into his teammate, Alex Bowman. And below him was Chase Elliott. Riding with Hamlin. You can hear the RPMs pick up. And the stage ends under caution, Bubba Wallace. Picks up his first ever stage win. Almirola pulling in front of Blaney, trying to uh, clean that and already, pressure differential already here. Already start to see that debris yeah. start to flip around, and it's not going to be long before it's gone. Oh, still stuck in that bottom section. All of it section. except for where you want it to. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. There it is. Bye-bye. You got it already. So it's Good job, down. driver. Great job executing that by that race team. I would imagine Eric Almirola is not the happiest driver out there right now. As we showed you with the telemetry, his fuel burn is much higher than the cars that are drafting off of him and saving gas. Well, and so if the other Fords want to stretch that fuel mileage to pit later, like we saw them do earlier, then that will definitely play uh, against Eric Almirola. But what, look at this now. You see Ross Chastain goes to the inside, takes the lead. I think those Chevrolets are starting to line up. Get your hand out the window. Make sure those guys know you're pitting. Not only in that car, but oh, we got trouble. One spinning. And Ricky that's exactly Stenhouse. why you do that. Now we stay green as Stenhouse works it to pit road. No caution. It's almost as if it's every man for himself right now. And <laughs> for a viewer like we are, that's another but a good thing. I love oh, what I yeah. see. Oh, wow! Eric Jones and Matt DiBenedetto. 
got squirreled up there. Well, we've seen how aggressive Ross Chastain is to block that. You know, when he gets the, the lead, he's trying to block both those lines and that run from coming. He tried to block Eric Jones right there, and man, that was almost a disaster. But then he got right back up there and found another block and stayed with a car behind him and Brad Keselowski. Quinn Half up and into the wall has brought the caution out for the sixth time today. And that kind of stacked up the field, as you will see here. Some already with a bit of damage, and here's the big accordion Ooh. effect. Man, how lucky was Matt DiBenedetto and Brad Keselowski. That's all it takes is just to check up the slightest bit. Thank goodness he stayed up against the wall. That would have taken out all of our leaders. Here we go with Eric Jones and Matt DiBenedetto and Ross Chastain all trying for their first win. You keep an eye on the front watching these big blocks and then you keep your other eye on around that two card. Brad Keselowski, that's where these four tires are going to be coming and they're going to be coming hard. Kozlowski restarted oh. 11th. Some aggressive pushing happening right there. Ross Chastain to the rear bumper of the 43, but look at Matt Benedetto getting a run to the outside. Remember how we saw those uh, the telemetry of some guys lifting to save fuel? Ain't nobody lifting now from here all the way out. Nobody's lifting. Martin Truex has dropped to the back of the pack, believes he has a left rear tire going down. Oh, no. Way Martin about. Truex limping around the trial with a lot of smoke from his car. Oh, oh the, the car right rear that? has come off it and, and, and rolled out caution. onto the racetrack. Caution. Just what we didn't need. You can certainly see what happens if you jump out of line too quick. Harrison Burton went straight to the bottom or to the back. And those guys on that outside lane are trying to get three wide, still trying to get three and four wide. What lane do you pick, Matty D? I know it's a tough call because that 12 is to your outside. He's got help from Keslowski. Oh, they, they are linked apart. up tightly. And what happened to Harvick? Don't yeah, get he out too far here. He broke away from that 12 car. Yeah, you, if you're Matty D, you don't want to get too far up front, but you hope those guys stay side by side behind you as you take the white flag. That's what he wants to see right now. Four wide through the trioval mid pack. White flag in the air. Next flag in the oh, race. Oh no, Matty he D. He gave went up, up on his plan. Now you got Brad Keselowski's got the uh, he's got the, heck of a push on the on the back of him. The man with the plan, Brad Keselowski, has Michael McDowell in tow, and then Kevin Harvick. Here comes a big run from the eight. Tyler Reddick's, oh, but he's not going to oh. push the 12. There, That's going to do that's it for so Brad cool. Keselowski if, on that inside lane. I'm not saying he's got the win. Now the 34 and the four got to get lined up. Look at Eric Jones. Eric Jones. A mile and a half ago. We talked about right there. That Jones boy up into four. Oh, Kevin Harvick Chris, with a run. Chris Butcher back there, he's, he's wrecking. He's oh. in a wall. Big run 17 in the McDowell. wall, but here they come. What's McDowell going to do? Down oh. to the finish. One car turned in the fence. Keslowski, the leader. To the outside comes McDowell, and Brad Keslowski wins Talladega as one car goes sliding, Ross spinning, and slamming into the inside wall. Man, that was wild. Looks like a left rear tire went down on Eric Jones. Big impact with the left front of Chastain into that safer barrier past the start finish line. Hello, everybody, Professor, you call me to have a job right here. Yes, you did, brother. That was awesome. Great job, man. 35th career win for Keslowski. He won at Richmond last fall. First one of the season, another different winner. Hi, I'm Kyle Petty. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest NASCAR news and highlights. And don't miss NASCAR American Motor Mouse every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. on Peacock. Go to PeacockTV.com or download the app from the App Store or Google Play.